Hello, this is Mr. Kenyon Nola, and I'm going to help you find the perimeter of each polygon. Uh, so, I'm going to give you two examples for this one, and um, yeah, I'm going to help you find the correct answer for these. So, uh, yeah, pay attention, get a calculator, get a pen or pencil, um, and well, we'll do this. So, find the perimeter of each polygon. Assume that the lines which appear to be tangents are tangents. Uh, so, yes, assume that they are tangents. Uh, so, let's let's analyze this. So, we actually have, we have three tangent lines. So, these lines intersect the circle at just one point. So, here's that point of tangency for this line, point of tangency for this segment right here, and point of tangency for this segment right here. So, um, yes. So, what we're going to do is find the perimeter of this entire triangle right here. So, the length from here all the way around, the distance around this. Uh, so, as you're looking at it, I know that you're assuming, well, if this is 12, then this has to be 12, and this is 11.7, then this has to be 11.7, and we just add all that up, and we'll get the correct answer. However, that's just wrong. So, um, this, this isn't a midpoint for this segment right here. It doesn't bisect it and cut it in half. So we have to think about this. So it's, it says the tan, so these tangent lines intersect each other. So what we're going to use is uh, the two tangents theorem. And so the two tangents theorem says that if two tangent lines intersect each other, or two tangents uh, segments intersect each other, then they are congruent to each other. So um, instead of this being 11.7, because you think that, because this is 11.7, no, it's because these two, from here to here intersect each other these tangent segments intersect and that means these segments are congruent to each other so that means if this is 12 then this is 12 right here and um, if this is 11.7 from here to here then that means this right here has to be 11.7 seven also because these two segments are tangents and they intersect each other and so then we're going to take our calculator because we want to know what the length is from here to here and we'll take our calculator and so we'll go 23.1 because the length of this entire segment is 23.1 minus 11.7 that means that this segment is 11 Point four units, and because this tangent is uh, inter intersects this tangent right here, then that means that this is also eleven point four because of the two tangents theorem. Uh, if you don't believe me about the two tangents theorem, just watch the video uh, previous to this and the pre and the video previous to that because that's the actual proof of the two tangents theorem. So now. We can take our calculator and just add everything up. So uh, the length of this entire segment is 12 plus 11.4. And then I'm going to write a plus. And then we're going to take this entire segment, which is 12 plus 11.7. And then we'll take this entire segment. You may write 11.4 plus 11.7, but we know the entire length is 23.1. And then I'm just going to press enter. And there is our final answer. It's 70.2. So, units. Not square, just regular old units because it's not area. Uh, so, the length of this entire, uh, per the perimeter of this polygon is 70.2 units. Um, so, just remember, these are not congruent. These are congruent because of the two tangents theorem. Here's another example of the two tangents theorem. Now we have a quadrilateral and we want to figure out the length of all the way around this polygon. Um, so what do we have here? <laughs> okay, so we know that the length from here, uh, this tangent uh, and and this tangent are congruent to each other. So we can say that both are seven. And then we're gonna take our calculator and subtract 13.4 minus seven, uh, which is 6.4. So the length of this right here is 6.4. <clears throat> so the length of this has to be 6.4. 
And so then the length of this right here, uh, well, 16.4 minus 6.4 would be 10. And then yeah, I didn't use a calculator for that one. So then for the length from here to here would be 10. And then the length from here to here would be 5.3 because 10 plus 5.3 is 15.3. And because of the two tangents theorem, uh, these two tangents are congruent. And then this is 5.3. Okay. And so now we're just going to do some addition with our calculator. It's great to have a calculator. So we'll start off with this bottom uh, segment, 13.4. Ooh, wrong button plus 16.4 plus 15.3 plus now let's just add we'll put 7 plus 5.3 press that magical enter button and the answer is 57.4 units uh, so yes, 57.4 units, and that is how you find the perimeter of a polygon that uh, is made up of tangent lines on the circle. So uh, the word for this, the, the fancy word is, word is circumscribed. Uh, so when a polygon is outside of a circle, but each side of that polygon has a point of tangency like this, this is called circumscribed. So there's a word for the day. So uh, again, don't say that this this is a midpoint and so this is congruent to this no it's this it's congruent to this this segment is congruent to this segment this 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 so and look these two don't even look congruent to each other so don't say that yeah anyways so that's how you get it uh make sure that that's a decimal and that's how you figure out the perimeter of a polygon that's circumscribed around a circle have a great day